Hello everybody, it's Wednesday, uh, December 2nd, and we continue in our soaping through the New Testament. We're looking at every day, a chapter a day, pulling out one verse, one scripture, observing what it says, applying it in our lives and praying. And from this time forward, we're studying the book of Revelation. So if you've been walking along with this for the last oh, nine or ten months, walking through this soaping, this is going to be more of a study than it is a devotion. I won't go longer, I'll try to be short, but I'm looking at themes through each of these chapters as we study the book of Revelation. Now, there's a lot of ways to study Revelation, and there's a lot more information that I can give you or that you can learn on your own. But I just want to look at the themes and pull a verse out of each chapter and let it speak to us. So today, Revelation chapter 1, verse 17 says, When I, John, the disciple, the apostle John, saw Jesus, I fell at his feet as though dead, like instantly falls to the ground in the midst of the holiness of Christ. And then Jesus touched me with his right hand and said, don't be afraid. Now, theme I'm looking here in this first chapter is Jesus. And what an appropriate way to start this book. The, there's a song that I used to sing with a partner, with a lady that was part of our church in Ohio. Larnell Harris loved singing his music. The song was called, I've Just Seen Jesus. It's the story of Easter, seeing Jesus, the ladies that saw him come out of the tomb and Peter and the apostles, all that. I've just seen Jesus. Well, there will come a day where we, like John, see Jesus. And this is the John who walked with Jesus for three plus years. This is the John who saw Jesus after he was resurrected. And yet, this John sees Jesus in a way he's never seen him before. The description is amazing. A picture of this transfigured Jesus of heaven describes his robe and sash as his authority as a king. He's wearing this huge robe that people like Caesar would wear. And the sash, this, this garment element that reminded everybody he is king of kings and lord of lords. And then his head is, is white, glowing. His hair is white, uh, demonstrating wisdom of a father and and his eyes are blazing white light coming out of his eyes where he sees everything. You ever had your dad like look at you with glaring eyes? Just imagine his eyes glowing with white, what John saw. And then his feet brazened uh, like, like burnished metal burning. That's the beauty and the majesty that he offers. The power of his word coming out of his mouth. His voice was like thunder rushing through that. I mean, I'm not even putting good words to the description of this amazing picture of Jesus and his hands, you know, the nail marks in his hands. And yet with the power and authority that his hands carry and his mouth, the sword of truth coming out of his mouth and his face shining like the sun, amazing picture of Jesus. This is not the Jesus of nativity. I mean, we celebrate a baby. This is Jesus of eternity and what he looks like and what his appearance was sent John to the ground. And all of us will face this Jesus. We will all face him in his holiness and we will all fall in fear. But for some, Jesus will touch us with the right hand, welcoming us into his kingdom telling us not to be afraid, raising us in a new body for eternity. And for others, they'll get their wish, being separated from him, sent away, banished from the presence of God. And I just want to ask you today, before we go into the rest of Revelation, are you ready to meet this Jesus? See, so many of us want Jesus to be a good guy, but we don't want to face the holy Christ that we will face someday. And this first chapter and this first moment of Revelation is a reminder that we need to turn back to him now. This life is our chance to be prepared for the next. And we will face this Jesus, all of him, and he will decide our fate. So I just want to encourage you before we go into the rest of this book to take this moment and consider whether you're ready to meet Jesus. I'm not saying you're going to meet him today. I hope not. I hope you don't hope that day doesn't come this moment, but there will come a moment and you need to be prepared. How do you do that? You confess him as Lord and Savior. You surrender to your life to him. He says to repent for the kingdom of God is here. You turn back to him, surrendering your life, turning away from your sin and asking him to forgive you. And then it says to repent and be baptized. So in an act of demonstration and a remembrance and of assurance, he gave us this gift of baptism to, 
to experience the death, burial, and resurrection, just like he was, the death on a cross, burial in a tomb, resurrected forever. And then we devote ourselves to him, follow him. I'm telling you, John and his life was radically changed when he saw this Jesus. And ours is too. So I encourage you to think about Jesus today. That's the theme of today, Jesus, and what he's going to be in eternity. <laughs> Better be prepared to see him. God bless you. We'll continue in Revelation chapter 2 tomorrow. I look forward to seeing you then.